I'm Larry McClendon in Mariana, Arkansas. In 2014, we grew about 2,500 acres of dicamba cotton. Our principal weed target was pigweed. Uh, we've had an excellent result from this. We cleaned the crop up and uh, uh, we came back and made a sequential application uh, when the cotton was about knee high, but we've had remarkable effect from the round, Roundup and Dicamba. I've said it before that this, uh, from a standpoint of weed control, it reminded me of when Roundup came out 20 years ago, and uh, I think it put us back on that footing. I think as far as application, uh, Dicamba is a sensitive product. We had about six miles of borders with conventional soybeans. And around that, uh, we were very diligent and careful with our dicamba applications. We did see evidence periodically that we applied dicamba. In no case did we see where we thought we had a yield loss. Just a casual glance, you would not even notice this. And we did notice that uh, after a few days or a few weeks that all symptoms were gone and, and by the time we got to harvest, uh, there was no visible evidence in the soybeans. So I would say again that, that uh, it, it requires caution and you've got to use the product safely and, and uh, stay within the label here, but we did not see any, uh, any negative effects of the dicamba and the positive effects of being able to kill resistant weeds, it overshadowed any other negatives that we would have had out there then.